Hey, what's up guys? It's Metal, and I've got another WoW Lua Weekora scripty tutorial thing for you. Um, just something that I have been working on as I go through this whole coding learning process that I think might help illustrate certain concepts to people who are trying to get into this who haven't yet. So I've got my unit frames here that are um, kind of an invisible frame that I then anchor Weekoras to that I uh, have been working on and using for, gosh, over probably a year now. They work really well. I'm really happy with them, and I keep iterating on them. And I use, you know, weak auras and Lua to kind of do some certain things to get them to function. And one of the things I was working on is health number display. So you can see when I click my um, target frame um, or my player frame, they display the health of whatever I've currently got clicked. So the health number. So 1.62 million for this little bird over here and 9.06 million for me. Um, but displaying that number um, is not quite as easy as you might expect. Um, it's very easy to get it to display a health number, but to format it exactly how you want isn't quite as straightforward within weak auras as you might think. Um, so let's do that really quick and see what the issue is and how we can solve it. So we'll make a new weak aura and we'll call it uh, testy texty. And we're going to go to our trigger and we're going to change it from type to uh, type aura to player unit info. And then we're going to change the unit from player to target. And we're just going to leave it as health. And now that we've done that, if we go back to display, you can see when you click on the right here, it gives you some options. And one of them is percent one dot health, um, which we could type, or we could actually just type percent health because um, the per percent one dot is like if it's trigger one specifically. If you only have one trigger, um, you can just do percent health. And so now that's going to display uh, the health of our target. You can see right there. And let me make that a little bit bigger just so it's easier to see. And we'll move it up a bit as well. So uh, now when I click a target, it's just going to give me a number for their health. That's pretty cool. And that's really easy. But obviously, it's a very long and unformatted number. So um, there are some options you can use within Weak Auras to change the formatting of this. They are under Format Options. Um, so right below where you type in whatever you want your display to be, um, it's going to be Format Options. And then you can go to Format. And there are these big number options. There's number, but it doesn't really help us in this situation. So big number has uh, one option, which is abbreviate numbers blizzard. And this is a pretty good option. You can see, like, if I click the bird here, it says 3.2, or sorry, the ram, it says 3.2 million. Uh, the bird is 1.6 million. Uh, and then I am just nine. And so that's our, our first thing I don't like about this is it doesn't consistently have um, the decimal places, uh, two decimal places in particular. Um, and the second thing is that, uh, let me just harvest this herb that showed up. The second thing is that it's got a big M and, uh, this is super retentive and minor, but, uh, if you look at like details on the left, it's always two decimals and a lowercase M. And so is like shattered unit frames and pretty much like all the stuff I see in WoW is two decimal places with a lowercase letter when it abbreviates. But for some reason, the default mode is this single decimal and big letter. So that's not bad. And in fact, I used this for a while when I didn't know how to solve this problem, but it's not what I want either. Our other options are uh, break up large numbers, which is just adding commas. Fine, useful, but not what we want in this case. And then this abbreviate large numbers, which is like 1,000, 1,000. So like 1,000K, 1,000,000. ,000. I don't know who this is for. It's weird. I, I don't like it. So uh, at any rate, like I said, for a while, I just used this. But let's say we wanted to just custom format this. How would we do that? Well, of course, we'll start with a custom function. So you will type percent %c into the display text, and that will give you this custom function section. And then all functions are just function, parenthetical, open, parenthetical, close, and then end. And then you put whatever you're going to do for the function inside of it. And um, quick aside, I think it would be really neat if Weaker has allowed you to reference like percent %health the way we did from the trigger we created somehow in these. I think that would make it a lot easier for people to make sense of, um, but maybe that's really hard to do and doesn't work for reasons that I'm not smart enough to understand. So they don't have that feature. Um, and so since they don't, we've got to find, uh, like we do anything else when we do custom code in Lua, um, in weak auras, we get an API. Um, and so we open up our trusty dusty Google browser and we do a search for something like wow API unit health. And it's going to show some results and fandom or WikiGG or whatever. Lots of these things have API information. And you can see here in their sample that uh, they define a local variable. They make up the name of the variable. And then this is the API call. 
So unit health and then parenthetical unit. And if you look at their example down here, you can see the unit is like quote target or quote player or quote party one. So we do that in our function. So we say local variable. We make up a name for it. I'm going to call it testy health. And then we say that equals what the API just was. So unit uh, health parenthetical quote target quote and parenthetical. And so now if we want to have the custom function actually do anything, we need to return that variable. So testy health equals the unit health target return give us testy health. And now with that there, if I close this and click something, you can see this is basically the exact functionality that the percent health in weak auras was doing. Any time we click a target, it tells us the health of that target. Cool. So now it's like, you know, a returnable variable within this code. And so now we can manipulate that number. Pretty cool. Um, so what if we wanted to clean up, you know, some of this stuff? How would we do that? Well, um, we really just need to take the number that it gives us and then adjust that output. So if we come below our defined variable, we could do an if statement. So I have um, 9 million health, right? So we could say like, if testy health uh, is greater than or equal to, and then we would define, uh, so, and <laughs> you can see how not good I am at math as we go through this process. So if you're not good at math and you think I can't code because I'm not good at math, that's not true. I am terrible at math and I can do some of this stuff. So these are kind of like basic mathematic concepts that it took me a second to kind of wrap my head around like, oh yeah, this is really just this kind of math. Uh, because again, math is not as natural to me. But so if testy health, which is unit health target as we defined above, if it equals greater than, and so we'll do one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So nine zeros. So that's thousand. Uh, and then one, two, three million. And then one, two, three billion. So if testy health is greater than or equal to um, one billion, then... And we'll say health number, uh, sorry, testy health, equals, and then we're going to do ceiling, which ceiling is like kind of a, I hate the way it does these indents. I, I like to keep them clean and it does them automatically. Ceiling is like a term that coders use for round up. Uh, floor is a term that coders use for round down. And why these aren't just like round up is beyond me. But anyway, ceiling means round up. So we're going to say ceiling, and then that's like a parenthetical. And this is saying, like, whatever's inside this, we're going to round up. So inside of that ceiling, we're going to put testy health. Okay? And we're going to divide it um, by a number that shrinks it down. And so that's going to be 1, and then 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Uh, 1, 2, right? 2, 1, 2, 3. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 1. No, 1 less. So this is us dividing the original number. And then that rounded number, we're going to times it by 0 0.01. And this is to turn it into a decimal, basically. Okay? Um, and then we would end this statement. But since I have millions of health, we actually need to do another one um, for millions. Because this is our billions. And now we need to do one for millions. So we can say else if testy health greater than or equal to, and then this would be one million, so one, one, two, three, thousand, one, two, three, million. Then, and then we're gonna do basically the same thing, testy health equals ceiling, testy health, and then we're gonna divide that by uh, the smaller number uh, to, to make it manageable, so 10,000. And again, I, <laughs> I did not know how to do this math because I'm terrible at math. I literally just was like, I know I need to divide it by some number of zeros. And I literally just like typed in like an extra zero until I got the result that I wanted. So again, I am laughably bad at math and I am still able to like conceptualize these concepts, right? So, okay, cool. So if our health number is greater than or equal to a billion, then divide it by some zeros to shrink down the total number and times it by 0 0.01 to get the decimals, okay? So when we do that, you can see I'm at 9.06 now. I'll harvest this little flower. This guy's at 3.23. This guy over here, if I could click him, is at 1.62. 
So cool, we are already getting the correct rounding. Now we also need to do this for thousands if we want that to play similarly. Um, and technically, if this game ever went up to trillions, we would need to do it for trillions, but I'm not aware of anything having trillions of health currently. If there is, I'll add that someday. Uh, but we'll do the same thing. We're going to do uh, into our if statement, we're going to do an else if, because you can do as many else ifs as you want. You can just be like else if, else if, else if, else if, however many times. Um, and so we're going to do an else if uh, here. So we're going to say um, this will be a thousand. So greater than or equal to a thousand. Then, and we're going to do the same thing. Testy health equals the ceiling of itself divided by, and then this is going to be 10. I guess it's a tenth of a 10 to a thousand. Th How does, does someone good at math know a phrase for what I'm doing? I am far too stupid to know what to call this. At any rate, you do the same thing, okay? And then you, uh, basically, if we had like a thousand health, it's gonna be the exact same, the exact same deal. Um, and so we'll return that. And then it looks like I return function expected near, what did I mess up here? Do, 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 do. Ah, I missed by, there we go. Um, okay, so then this is saying like here, if it's a billion or greater, round thusly. If it's a million or greater, round thusly if it's a thousand or greater round thusly so again ceiling is round up take the number round that number up remove some zeros and add two decimal places so now uh now that we've got all those in we also need to get uh the letter and this is a lot easier because we're just gonna say uh b m k for the letter so for that, we want to create another variable. We'll call this testy letter, okay? And then we can just say testy letter, or uh, sometimes you might want to just define it as empty so you don't get nil. Uh, sometimes getting a nil return is weird. I don't really know if that's the case. I just did it here because uh, I'm scared of nils. <laughs> um, so then in each of our um, sections, our if statements, so like if our health is greater than a billion, we're going to say testy letter equals and this is just us saying lowercase b and then we're going to say in our <clears throat> uh, million section testy letter equals lowercase m and then we're going to say uh, in our thousand sections testy letter equals lowercase k all right now this is a new variable so we need to return that somehow with our health because while that's doing the code you'll see that it isn't actually spitting that out yet, and that's because we haven't told this to, to return that along with the other thing in our return section down here. So we're currently returning testy health, and we want to also return a uh, testy letter. And how you do that is dot dot in Lua is concatenation. And concatenation is just combining two things. So we're going to concatenate testy health into testy letter. Now, we have the letter. And so if it's a million, it's gonna be the lowercase m. And if it's a thousand, it's gonna be the lowercase k. If it's a billion, it's gonna be the lowercase b. And if it's trillion, which as far as I know doesn't exist, it will stay as b because it's greater than a billion. So we would just add in that trillion line to there. Um, and so that's kind of how you can reformat these numbers. Um, as long as you get a number from the API, you can format it really any way you want. And then the last thing I did that um, is kind of useful is you might want it to say something different if the unit is dead. And we can do that really easily um, with another else if statement. So we'll say else if testy health. And then for this, we're going to say equals equals, which is like it equals it. Um, so as a reminder, when you say one equals, that's you saying this variable is this thing. When you have two equals, you're asking, does it currently equal this thing? Okay, so equals is you saying it is this. Equals equals is you asking, is it this? So we're gonna say, if it equals zero, then, okay? And for this one, it's gonna be um, testy health. Uh, we're gonna say equals, and we're just gonna make it a string instead of a number now. So now we're no longer saying it equals whatever it was divided. We're just gonna say dead. 
And then I don't actually know if this is necessary, but I like to do testy letter and then just redefine that it is nothing. And so now what that will do is if this unit's health is zero, it will say the word dead. So uh, let's go kill an NPC. How about this bird? He's got low health. So there he is, and you can see it's updating every time his health changes. And now that he's dead, he's dead. So that's exactly the code that I use in these unit frames to display the health number and whether they're dead uh, for players and for targets. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Hopefully it helped you kind of figure out how to dip your toe into some Lua. Um, if you have any other questions for me, let me know in the comments. See ya!